Hi, this is Dustin Newman with Hilltop Disposal. In this video, I'm going to go over plugging, um, why it's such a major problem with uh, disposal wells. So behind me, I've got a well. Um, there's two major reasons why you get plugging in a disposal well. One is when you first uh, drill the well and complete the well. Um, drilling mud has a tendency to cake. Well, it does cake along the inside of your formation and it's meant for the drilling fluid not to get pushed back into your formation. So after you start injecting fluid while you're running into that barrier that's up against your formation, not allowing fluid to go past. The other reason why you get plugging is after you start injecting anything that's carrying over with your water, now whether it's solids or uh, oil, uh, scale, anything that's coming with your water over time will accumulate on the ID of your, of your uh, formation and over time that'll get thicker and thicker until you can't push any more water through it and your injection rates drop, your pressure, pressure climbs and your injection rates drop. Now I have put a graph together to help determine if you've got plugging as an issue. Um, so this is a graph of injection rate versus pr friction pressure at 1450 meters. I've got the different size injection strings on here, so you got three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, seven inch, and eight and five eighths. You got friction pressure loss across the bottom and MPA and injection rate in cubes a minute up the side. So if you're trying to troubleshoot, okay, what's the problem with my well? Why can't I inject water? Well, let's say you've got a five and a half inch injection string in there and you're only getting away a cube a minute. Well, you're only losing like 0.2 of an MPA uh, due to pressure loss uh, from the injection string, which means if you're injecting at seven MPA, it's taking all that pressure to push it into your formation and your formation's the issue. Now, obviously you're gonna have to uh, go do a clean out, stimulate it somehow to reconnect to that reservoir so you can push water away again. But this graph at least helps you identify what the problem is so that you can go about solving it. Now, once you solve the problem by stimulating, you're also, you know, if it's a long-term issue, you're gonna have to fix your surface facility so you don't have that carryover down hole which will then plug your formation again. Because if you don't solve the problem on surface, you're just gonna, you can clean it out or fix it, but then you're gonna replug it over time. So it goes back to the surface facility and uh, solving your problems up hole. If you want a copy of this graph, I'll send you one for free, a PDF copy. You, all you have to do is send me, uh, email me your, the depth of your formation and whether you want metric or imperial, imperial units, I'll send this to you for free. Um, in the next videos, I'll go into greater detail about plugging due to drilling and plugging from long-term uh, accumulation. Those videos are below.